stuff, I'll try not to spoil anything from episode 10 onwards, but if you haven't seen episode 1 to 9, it's kind of hard not to talk about spoilers, as with something like a CW show, it's long, and so for the trailers, only like two or three plot points show up, because only two or three plot lines have been introduced by the time the trailers come out, if you know what I kind of mean, so it's kind of really hard to talk about these plot points without getting into some kind of spoiler territory. So any episodes before the Elseworlds crossover, those are open to spoiler territory down below in the comments, but any other spoiler related comment, and I'm, I'm actually sorry, you'll have to be removed because I just don't like spoilers. But anyway, with that in mind, Arrow Season 7 is a great season of Arrow. I mean, there have certainly been better seasons, for example, Season 1, 2, and 5 were, both, were all better than this. Uh, so this is the fourth best season of Arrow, how I would rank it. Uh, fourth is the worst, third is the second worst, and then comes 6, 7, uh, 5, 1, and 2. I just, I feel that this sh season will be a, a bit weirder, and it's not that rewatchable, let's just say that. So, again, last spoiler alert, so Oliver is in prison, and I really liked his prison arc where, you know, all the time he's a hero standing up for himself, standing up for his city, and now... He just wants to be quiet, he just wants to just be there. But you can understand when he says things like, I want to see my family, or you, you can understand why that's all going on. And when he kills that guard at the end of episode 3, or I don't think he kills him, but like, he stabs him or something, you, you understand that, you can understand where he's coming from, and what Brick is, like, manipulating him to do. Meanwhile, Felicity kind of got better I mean, in the past four seasons she's been very very annoying but i think she popped up a bit more here and there uh she's essential to the flash forwards a bit i mean there's a whole episode dedicated to fighting and i think the flash forwards for for the start okay so for the for the start of the flash forwards you know, when they were just like, Felicity's dead, this happened, that happened, you know, you were beginning to get some hints of an interesting story. And then, at the end, again, no spoilers, but at the end, it kind of got good, but I was just really interested with uh, the Oliver in prison storyline, and then once Oliver got out of prison in episode 7, I was just really interested in it like the main storyline i wasn't really interested in the future after episode like 10 or 11 there was like this cliffhanger at the end of 13 where you're just like oh that's cool but then they just they don't go anywhere with that they just like drop it so i don't know no idea what they were thinking, but I, I will say it got off to a pretty good start, and then it got a bit muddled all over the place. Not that I can go into any specifics with spoilers, but this happened, and that I felt very episodic, I'll say that. And so, there feels like one or two episodes in there that are really like, oh, this is our big bad for the season, you know, get used to this person, but the rest are just like, oh, um, I want to be with my family, I want to do this, I want to do that, that gets a bit of weird, this also has the 150th episode in it, this season has the 150th episode, and I gotta say, it was handled very nicely, uh, I won't spoil in what way it was kind of handled, but it was handled nicely, and it made sense, you know, it felt like a continuation of the story, but it also felt like the 150th episode, so I will say it made sense. 
the crossover was, I think, maybe my favorite crossover. Although I will say that Supergirl, the Supergirl episode in the crossover, was my favorite of the episodes. This one just like treated us to a lot of good stuff. So the season also introduced Batwoman, introduced Batman, like as an idea into the Arrowverse, which I actually thought was amazing. And then I, I love how during that episode Oliver is like, oh, I'm meant to be the first vigilante and stuff. And so, and then it introduces, you know, our, our main villain kind of has this backstory. Uh, so it introduces all of that. It introduces the monitor and sets up uh, next year's crossover very well. And it introduces just some things that I can clearly see are, uh, let's say, I, I can clearly see them becoming future plot points, although plot points are kind of like sidelined. I can see them becoming future plot points in the 10 episodes that will be season 8. But then it seems like that's it. That's it for Arrow. Season 8 will be the last season of Arrow. So overall, I think this season planted the seeds for the end very very nicely. You, you get a good villain, you get some good arcs with Oliver, and some of the side characters, you know, kind of gets to develop. So, I, I actually liked this episode with Laurel, and I actually kind of liked that. So, the, that episode with Laurel, I was actually really interested in where they were going to take the character, and when they actually took the character, I was just like, okay. I mean, it's not the best way to take the character, but I at least understand where you're going. And that happened with every single character. No character felt like they had the wrong arc. So, I actually like this season, but it's it kind of has some boredom, but it slides away from the plot way too much. So, its rewatchability factor is highly low, but it is a good season of Arrow. I'll give it like a 8. 5 out of 10 so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please leave a like drop the subscribe button hit the bell icon comment down below on your thoughts on arrow season 7 but please no spoilers and as always i will see you in another video tomorrow because i'm doing my flash season 5 video tomorrow so stay tuned for that one as well